So this is Bocking 14 Comfrey, Russian Bocking 14 Comfrey in bloom. Figured I better take a video of it now because as soon as it rains, all these blooms are probably going to be gone. So in permaculture, Bocking 14 Comfrey is what everybody refers to as a chop and drop fertilizer it is a beneficial plant to have and it grows very quickly the thing is is once you plant it you better plant it exactly where you want it to be at because if you ever try to get rid of it it's nearly impossible and one of the mistakes people make is they'll try to pull the plant up and that breaks the root. And then every place that root falls will have a new Bocking 14 Comfrey. So the other thing is too, if you want to plant this and you want a whole bunch of them, you can wait till the plant gets really tall and basically whack it down and then take a tiller <laughs> and till the ground and cut the root up into a whole bunch of pieces, pick those pieces up, plant them somewhere else. Now you have whole bunch of Bocking 14 plants but I use them all over the place they are literally all over my yard pretty much all these outer raised beds have them in it and the other thing is too it can be used sometimes to provide protein for animals although they generally seem to prefer them mostly in early spring when the plants are first starting to come out of dormancy like my rabbit will eat these up and the chickens will too but once they get this size they pretty much don't mess with them no more so it's only like there there are other things better things out for them to eat when they get to this size there's apparently more enjoyable tasting stuff because they just leave it alone but yeah it's a good plant to have around. Chop and drop means basically these are very deep rooted and they'll bring up a lot of nutrients from deep within the soil. Way, way down farther than what you could ever till or plow or anything like that. And basically when you cut them down, you can see that I basically tear leaves off and I just lay them on the ground. And then what happens is when those leaves decompose they will release all of the nutrients they've collected in them that come from deep within the ground and you can obviously take and cut down I was basically trimming this away from something else but you can basically take and cut these down in large quantities and add them to you know whatever you're growing as either a mulch or a fertilizer if you Obviously, they'd break down quicker if they were mixed in with the dirt, but I just lay them on the ground mostly. But they are a really pretty plant when they are in bloom, as they are now, and they have been for several weeks. The blooms will last, oh, about a month, I guess. And what happens is every time it rains and you get a storm, though, you get the blooms get knocked off. Uh, bumblebees love them, but not honeybees, so... I don't know if that's because of the flower shape. You can kind of see the flowers are long and skinny. But uh, bumblebees, there's actually one back here working. There's almost always a bumblebee on each one of these. You can see them right there. All that pollen on his legs. And uh, of course it's getting ready to rain. So his uh, time to be working today is about to run out. I was hoping I could get a shot where you could see, actually see the pollen on his legs. He's got a lot. See him there? All that pollen on his legs. Anyways, they're nice to have around. So I've got them in all of these exterior beds that are outside of the main orchard and apiary. And uh, the, the hope was eventually I will take and split these plants and get them in some other areas too. But it's starting to rain, so I'm going to head inside. Hope you like this video on Bocking 14 Comfrey. 
And if you got any questions about it, ask in the comments below. And I'll also link, leave a link on Amazon, which is actually where I bought mine from. I'll leave the link to the exact same seller and all the information in the details if you want to get it. It's not very expensive. Great to have around. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.